Hi, this is Pastor Rick. I want to talk about the use of words. Sometimes words that people say to one another are very hurtful. Psalm 64 verse 3 says, They sharpen their tongues like swords and aim their words like deadly arrows. You ever been on the receiving end of that? Where somebody says things that just really hurt you? Yeah, there's a silly poem that says, Sticks and stones can break your bones, but words can never hurt you. Well, it's not true, because words can hurt the things that people say about one another. And we're all hurt sometimes by the words of other people. Often, perhaps more than you and I realize, what was said was simply spoken thoughtlessly or carelessly. They might not have been attending to assassinate your character, but sometimes words are meant to sting and they really do. So either way, uh, when others criticize us or when they say something hurtful to us or insensitive to us, our first reaction should be to ask ourselves if there's any truth in what they say. If so, we need to be honest and, with ourselves and ask God to help us to correct whatever may need correcting. But even if those words were spoken maliciously, we need to turn our hurts over to God and ask Him to help us to respond with forgiveness and with grace. And if we're honest, we have to admit, sometimes we, oops, hurt others with our own words. Don't excuse it and don't ignore it. Admit it and seek forgiveness, both from God and from any person that you've hurt. Then make the psalmist's prayer to be your prayer. Set a guard over my mouth, O Lord. Keep watch over the door of my lips. That's in Psalm 141, verse 3. I think you and I, all of us, probably need to have a guard over what we say and be careful. It's good to speak the truth, always. But it's always good to speak the truth in a loving way. The Bible even says that, speak the truth in love. So I just want to encourage you, be careful what you say. And when other people say things that hurt you, check it out, see if there's any good counsel there for you. And uh, either way, turn it over to God. God can deal with it better than I can, better than you can. God bless you. Have a great day.